And next, my aunt, uncle, and co got me uh, Metro Prime Hunters on the DS. Now, Metro Prime Hunters is just a kind of stripped down version of the Metro Primes that you saw on GameCube. The kind of difference with this one is that it's not an open world. You you can travel around in your ship, and it's kind of like more level based than uh, the ones on GameCube. But uh, it's really fun. Uh, one of the best things about this game is the controls. It's a, it's a first person shooter on the DS, and you, you use the touch screen to kind of control Samus's arm and uh, choose which she wants to point, and you use the L button to shoot. And it's great, you know, it works brilliantly. But uh, yeah, uh, this game's good, the story's pretty good, like you get to go against all these different bounty hunters and collect uh, different items and which help you, you can backtrack and find all the cool stuff. So it's got all the Metroid Prime love in there. It's just uh, a bit stripped down on the DS with kind of worse graphics, the really good graphics for the DS, but for a Metroid Prime game I guess they're not that great. But uh, Metroid Prime Hunter is really great, thank you to my aunt and uncle. Uh, my friends Ryan and Perry got me Mario Kart Double Dash. <laughs> now, um, a lot of people say this is like one of the worst Mario Karts, and it's it might it may be, but the worst Mario Kart still a brilliant game. Uh, the the thing that I like about this game is that you can use uh, every character has special items, like uh, Mario and Luigi will have fireballs, and uh, Bowser and Bowser Jr. will have a giant Koopa shell, and all stuff like that. Which, I don't know why they got rid of that feature in future games because it was one of the best things to get. I guess it's a bit unfair, and then when they add in online mode, you get spamming characters and whatever. But I really love that about this game. Uh, I noticed that this game has really loose, like turning controls, and it can get really frustrating. And what can get really frustrating about this game is when you do 150 CC and when you do mirror mode. And then anyone who's played Mario Kart knows you get that one bastard who's always in first place and then you're not competing with the other six um, racers you're competing with that one bastard who just keeps getting in first place and then he kinda like cheats, he gets the good items and he gets past you and this is one of the most frustrating Mario Kart games I've played because it can get so hard when you've got that one person always in front of you and then the, you pretty much have to come first in two of the races and second in two of the other races to win the cup and yeah, I've been playing this game and swearing and screaming and pulling my hair out. It's ah, it's it's so hard, but it's really fun. And the multiplayer on this is great. I'd love to try the uh, the LAN mode where you can play 16 players on Mario Kart. That would be so much fun. Obviously, you'd need the LAN adapters and stuff, which I don't see me getting anytime soon. You need 16 GameCube controllers, four copies of the game, four GameCubes, four TVs, and all that to play 16 player on this game. But Besides that, the game the game's a really fun, uh, really good Mario Kart game, and love it. Thank you very much. And oddly enough, my friend Troy got me a, this uh, Two Human for the Xbox 360. He got me this because he said, he, I'll hate him afterwards, so apparently it's a bad game. Uh, I've only played a little bit of it, like most of these games, and well, I'm not hating it that much at the moment. It seems okay, the only thing that's bad about it is the camera controls are horrible. But... Yeah, so far, um, it's it's not a bad game, to be honest. Uh, it's kind of like an action game with RPG-ish elements. And uh, I'll get back into it, and it looks okay. Hopefully it doesn't get worse from there. Maybe I will hate him. Maybe I won't. But thank you anyway. Even a bad game, I, I appreciate any game. And last but not least, my wonderful girlfriend Kaylee got me Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. And they definitely did a good job when they dropped the uh, Sega name in uh, All-Stars Transformed. Because... <laughs> with characters like Wreck-It Ralph and Danica Patrick, which is really odd. Uh, it's no longer Sega anymore. This is a brilliant game, this is so much fun. I've been playing the World Tour mode, I've been playing a lot of the World Tour mode, and I can get, again, like America, I can get so hard, but you just have to play, you have to just keep going to play it, because it's so much fun, and all the challenge just adds to the accomplishment when you beat it. But yeah, the, the characters in this game are great, it's got a really great character roster. Uh, I, like, I like characters like Vice from... Skies of Arcadia, pretty cool. One of the best things about this game is the tracks. The tracks are absolutely brilliant. Uh, one of my favourites is uh, the Curian Mansion one, Graveyard Gig, where you got all the, like, the zombies and stuff rocking out while, while you're, dracing, you're driving around it. And this game, it gets so fast that you, you, you can't even see what's happening around you. You have to play the courses multiple times, which I actually really like about this game. Uh, the way they do the transforming stuff is really awesome, because it's not just the vehicles that transform is the, the course as well like if you go through on a third lap for example the Panzer Dragoon level all the uh, structure will collapse so, so instead of 
driving on the third lap, you'll have to fly. That happens on a lot of uh, stages, it's really cool. The online mode is really great on this as well, uh, a lot of fun, um, challenging as well, because people are really good at this game. Uh, also, you can do five player multiplayer on the Wii U version, because you get one on the uh, screen and then four on the TV. Uh, and also, if you have two copies of this game and two Wii U's, I'm pretty sure you can play ten player local play. Or, well, like System League Online kind of thing. But ten players in the same room playing this game will be hectic, and I really can't wait to try it. It's going to be so much fun. Honestly, <laughs> this is one of the best kart racing games I've played. Besides like Mario Kart, it is absolutely brilliant. So uh, check out Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform. Definitely excellent game. Just like to point out that the music in this game is really brilliant as well. Like they brought in all the old tracks from the games, and it's absolutely fantastic. Again, not not a video game, but very video game related. I suppose she also got me uh, the Zelda Ocarina of Time manga part one and part two. Uh, so I've read part one so far. I haven't got around to part two yet, but. This is brilliant. I mean, I kind of thought that it just took the title of the uh, the games and then made its own story, but no, it actually it's just a manga version of Ocarina of Time, and I love Ocarina of Time. So um, this is really great. The one kind of thing I'm not too keen on on this is that the dungeons are like two pages long. A lot of the book is just built up to the dungeon, and then there is no dungeon. It's pretty much just the boss. And they put a lot of filler stuff in here as well. They don't put stuff which is actually in the game, which I suppose makes it kind of good because you're not reading the exact same thing. But then again, like being a huge fan of the game, I'm kind of like, oh no, that weren't in the game. You can't do that. But yeah, uh, these books are brilliant. I'll get around to reading this one soon. And uh, thank you very much, Kaylee. And now onto games that I have actually bought myself. Uh, first off, we have a PlayStation 3 game, Rayman Origins. Now, usually I get my. Uh, my platform games on the 360, but I got this on PS3 because I'm looking out to get the collector's edition on 360, and uh, I just wanted the game now and it was cheap, so I got it on PS3. So in the future, I can get the collector's edition on 360. But yeah, Rayman Origins, excellent game. Uh, I love the Rayman franchise, and I love Rayman One, which was 2D. And the best thing about this game is the level of nostalgia that this game has for like the first few games. Like uh, you'll run into enemies from the uh, first game, and they'll be old. <laughs> So it's like time has passed and they've just gotten old and then you can kill them and stuff. It's uh, really awesome. Uh, the music in this game is brilliant. The the graphics, awesome. Uh, cartoony looking graphics is brilliant. But can I just say, Rayman Legends, the graphics on that looks so good. Uh, I can't wait to get that. I mean, the graphics on this are good, but that looks so much better. Um, but yeah, this is just a good old fashioned 2D Rayman platforming game. I'm uh, planning on doing a review for this really soon, so uh, look forward to that. I've got some footage recorded and I'll hopefully get around to doing that soon. Uh, brilliant game. Um, it's very different. If you're playing single player, it's hard platforming. Like You get hit once you die. And you, you really have to take your time in what you're doing. But if you play in multiplayer, it's completely different. It's just hectic. You just run through the stage. And uh, you, know, you can hit your, your teammates into lava and stuff. You can save them. You can help them. You can go against them. It's just crazy fun. And it's um, absolutely brilliant. 2D platforming goodness right here on uh, next-gen consoles and absolutely brilliant uh, Rayman Origins definitely check it out for the PlayStation 1 I picked up Kudelka because I saw it cheap and um, I haven't uh, played this yet but I, well, I tested it out to see if it works and I heard it's kind of like a spiritual prequel to the Shadow Hearts franchise which I haven't played yet either I really want to get around to those um, when and if I can but yeah you can definitely see how this is a prequel to Shadow Hearts because it's it's very horror RPG ish. Like the first cutscene is just um like this zombie ish kind of creature just comes up and sneaks up to you while you're trying to save this guy. And um then it's it's very dark and the graphics and stuff and all. Uh graphics are really good on this. The opening cutscene, the CG on it looks really good and uh, definitely looking forward to this. It's like a like a horror type RPG. Something that I think I'll definitely be into. So when I get around to playing this, I think I'll enjoy it. And next, um, I bought this game because it was cheapest, because these games never go down in price. And they were having a weird sale on these games for some reason, so I quickly snagged it while it was there. I got uh, Pokemon Black. I know I'm a bit behind because Black and White 2 just came out, but I never had this one. Which is weird, because every Pokemon game that's come out, I've had them on release. Well, not, not release date, but around release time. But not this one, I waited really long to get this for some reason. Um, this game is, well, it's another Pokemon game, so... It, any Pokemon game is really great. This one's definitely catered to people who haven't played the series before. Uh, because they haven't brought back any of the old Pokemon. Like, they've introduced loads of new mechanics and stuff. Um, and it's just, it, it all feels really 
same but new kind of thing. So they definitely try to incorporate it for people who haven't played the series before. But um, a lot of people like that bashing this for like the the Pokemon in it, not as creative and uh, stuff like that. But to be honest, I don't have a problem with this game. I think it's really great. You can definitely see where it's improved and deviated from the old games. Like you can use TMs more than once now um, and stuff like that. So it's definitely definitely different. Like if you're a huge hardcore Pokemon fan. I can see why you won't like this, but you know, just as a fan of the franchise, I'm I'm really digging it. I like the double battles in the grass and stuff, and it's all really cool so far. So uh, the story's interesting. I like that you get two rivals now, like they both pick another Pokemon, and the stuff like that in this game. Just the little things in this game, I think, are really great. The online service looks pretty cool as well. That you can be online all the time and Dream Sync. I'm not sure what that is. Yet. I haven't done that, but yeah, this is a this is a good Pokemon game, I like it. Any Pokemon game is really good, really, so... Good, Pokemon Black. And lastly, I picked up uh, New Super Mario Bros. U on the Wii U, and um, I've played most of the New Super Mario Bros. game today. I don't have any, but I've played uh, the first one and the Wii one, and uh, they're brilliant. Um, one thing I love about this game is that it um, it's more like Super Mario World-ish. Like, you get the open world map, and uh, you see they brought back enemies from Super Mario World, and I can just see how this is a lot like Super Mario World, which is great because that's my favourite 2D Mario game. Really love that game. And I uh, really love this game as well. The new mechanics they brought in, uh, the squirrel suit's fun, the baby Yoshi's are fun. It's uh, just a brilliant, you know, it's, it is another 2D Mario game. But I had no problem with that. I love 2D Mario games. And the, the level design, brilliant in this game. Uh, the graphics. They look really good, like for a HD Mario game, this is as best as you're going to get, because, well, it's cartoony graphics anyway, so if they weren't realistic, that would look really stupid. But, um, there's also online features of this game, like if you pass a level without getting hit, you can post to the Miiverse um, how you did it, and stuff like that. And I've done that a couple times with, like, um, I failed on a ghost house so often, so many times, D didn't have a clue how to do it, so I posted on the Miiverse, like, someone please tell me how to do it. No one did, I worked out in the end. But it's funny, just all my posts on the Miiverse pretty much help, I'm stuck on Mario. <laughs> the multiplayer mode for this is really fun as well, because you get four players on the screen and then one on the gamepad. And um, you can tap blocks on the gamepad to help or, you know, hinder your opponents. I mean, it depends who you're playing with. Uh, that's really fun as well, the multiplayer is really fun on this. There's also like challenge modes on this, which can get really hard, really hard. So uh, they're really fun as well. If, if you think you're a Mario Pro, play this and prove it, because it is hard. So thanks for watching, I have another couple of videos planned, um, so subscribe. If you don't want to miss out, that would be really helpful for me. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.